As the title suggests, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard up and ready to run your Ryzen 3000 processors. I got a little bit of a twist at the end of it, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to get that motherboard to accept them 3000 processors and what I had to do to get it done. I'll be right back. Alright all, since the launch of the Ryzen 3000 series, my video on how to update the BIOS on this motherboard has got, got pretty good hits on it. And it's just because everybody's wanting to know how to update the, Ryzen, update the motherboard BIOS to accept the Ryzen 3000 processors. I haven't done mine yet, so there's been some questions coming through the comments and whatnot that I don't know how to answer because I haven't done it. I went ahead and updated mine. I don't have a 3000 processor to put into it, but I went ahead and updated my BIOS and put this video out here to kind of give you a walkthrough on how to do this. If you want to know the specs of my system, I'll put them down in the description. Basically, I got the Gigabyte B450M DS3H motherboard. I have the uh, Ryzen 2400G processor. I have uh, 16 gigs of uh, memory in my system. I got a Intel 660p, one terabyte hard drive. I got the uh, got the Fractor Design uh, case that I'm running right now. That's kind of the basics of my system. Some of the questions that I've got on this is do you need a Ryzen first gen or second gen to be able to do this? Yes, you will. Uh, this motherboard does not have BIOS flashback included on it. It's nice when they do have it, but this one don't have it. So you will have to have a first gen or the uh, Ryzen 1000 series or Ryzen 2000 series processor to be able to update your BIOS. That's one of the big questions I've been getting. Um, there's a couple ways of couple ways you can work around this you can order one of them then send it back like someone suggested in the comments you can check with your local computer repair shop maybe they'll do it for free for you or at a low cost for you um, whenever Ryzen second gen or the 2000 series processor for Ryzen came out AMD would actually loan you a CPU to update your BIOS then you just send the processor back you can check with AMD on that um, like the B350 motherboards Whenever Ryzen 2 came out, you know, they actually had a little certificate of, uh, on the box that told you it was Ryzen 2000 ready, which I don't know if they're going to do all that this time or not, which I figure they will because they want to sell the product, correct? So that's just a couple ways you can work around that. Um, someone asked if you could put two, two BIOSes on the same flash drive to, to flash which I've tried that and you can't do it. It wants to override each other. Whenever you put the one BIOS onto the flash drive and you try to download or extract it onto the, sec on the second BIOS onto the flash drive, it wants to override the first one. So you'll have to do it two different times like I'll show you in the video. You'll have to go in and do your F32 and then you'll have to go back into the computer, back to the website and do either F40 or F41B, which is the one I which is the one I did today. As the newest one was F41B. Um, so you will have to have either two different zip drives to do this, or you'll have to do the F32 update, and then get the computer back up into Windows, go back to Gigabyte, and download the BIOS for F40 or F41B, whichever one you're concerned to do, whichever one you like to do. Um, now I'll show you the process of doing it and what I went through to do it and I'll be right back because there's a little twist of mine again. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here we go. I want to show you that I've already got my flash drive into my computer. Uh, it's right here under E, which yours may be different, but uh, whenever I put mine in it showed it, it gave it the load drive load of E. There's my flash drive already in my computer. Pull up your web browser, which I use Google. Go to Gigabyte B450 DS3H. You want to go to the Gigabyte website right here top, gigabyte.com. Click on that. That should bring you right to the page for your exact motherboard. Come over to support. Select your operating system. I don't know why that really matters, but it does, I guess. Uh, down here under BIOS. Okay, well, I guess they've updated it again. It's F41B. 
And over here we got some notes. Before updating BIOS to this new version, you must follow the steps as BIOS 40. Notes, description, and advanced. Okay, so basically we go down here and read this. You got to update your BIOS to F32 before 40. I'm going to assume that this means that once we do 32, you could skip and go straight to 41B. We're going to try that. We're going to see how it works. We're going to go down here. I'm in the U.S. I'm going to hit in America. Going to get this zip file. Hit save. We're going to come down here and hit open. We're going to extract. You want to browse to your zip drive, which is which mine is uh, USB E. Select folder and hit extract all. All right, there we go. Then if you pull up your file for your E drive, that's F32 and the E flash, EXE. Them should be the two files you got. Go down here, hit restart. And when you hit restart, you want to start tapping on your delete button. Start tapping your delete, that way you get into the BIOS when it comes up. Alright, there we go. Come over here to your Q flash. Click on your Q flash. Update BIOS. Right there's the only one we got. You need to click on it. And it should should recognize it. Then you push the start and you let it go. All right, once it's done, it'll, re it'll reboot. All right, now since it's booted back into Windows, pull up your drive. This one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these. Okay, then we're gonna go back to your browser. Go back to the Gigabyte website and go back to support go back down to Windows 10 and we're going to see if this works or not but I'm going to go ahead and go for this F41B I'm in the US I'm going to save it I'm going to open it okay then I'm going to extract all I'm going to go back to your E drive, select folder, hit extract. And, okay, we'll go ahead and replace it. Uh, exit out of that, we'll exit out of this. Go down here and restart again. And this time, instead of tapping delete, I'm gonna tap in the key. It's just another way to get into Q flash quicker. When your splash screen comes up, you hit your N key. It takes should take you right into the Q flash. It takes you into Q flash, <clears throat> and we are running F32. So we're going to click uh, that one, the updated. I'm going to click that one. Make sure it shows up down here at the bottom. Then you click over there, and you let it go. Then you press start to press that to start it. Then you let it update again, just like you did last time. And that will reboot, and it should boot right back into Windows.
And there you go, it's back in the windows. All right guys, a little twist I ran into. Just like if you've seen my other video on did I brick my motherboard or not. Uh, which I'll put a cord for that up here someplace on one of these sides. Whichever, whichever side pops out on, I think it's this side. But anyways, I'll put a cord up there for that one if you want to see it. Whenever I did the F32 BIOS update, I had to unplug my three terabyte hard drive. It's like it's disabling the SATA drives for some reason, the SATA ports on my motherboard. But whenever I finished up and I did the F41B, I plugged my hard drive back in and booted right back up into Windows. I don't know what the situation is. I've contacted Gigabyte about this, you know, whenever I did the last update on my BIOS. I haven't really got a clear response, and apparently they haven't fixed that. But once that, like I said, you know, once I did do the final update to the B, was it, 41, F41B, boy, they got some funny names for these things. But once I finally got it done, I was able to plug my 3 terabyte hard drive back in, and it worked fine. So I don't know what the conflict is with them SATA ports with some of these biases they got on this motherboard. But, uh... Hopefully they get them fixed, and of course once you get it up to the latest one, it didn't have no problem. So once you get it done, you should have no problem with your SATA ports being connected. Um, but yeah guys, that's the way you update your BIOS on the Gigabyte B450 MDS3H motherboard to run them Ryzen 3000 processors. Hopefully this answers some of your questions I've been getting in the comments. Um, that's why I'm kind of doing this video, and I need to update mine anyways. I don't, like I said, I don't have a Ryzen 3000 processor to put into it, but uh, hopefully soon I will be buying me one. We'll see how that works out, see what the finances look like. But anyways, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. There's that comment section down there, guys. Give me some ideas, some videos you'd like to see me put out or whatever. You know, let me know what you think about the channel or some of the information. If you think there's something else I should have added in this video, put it down in the comments section. You know, let's try to help each other out on this, because this is new technologies. If you really liked what you saw here and you'd like to become part of the community, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, that way you're notified next time I put out something. Until then, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.